morning or afternoon, everybody. Uh, today's uh, mass is going to be offered for the living and decease of the uh, uh, Gorgon family. Gorgon. Gorgon. Good luck. Hope that helps you. So do remember the older, remember the Gorgons, if you will. And of course, today we're celebrating my birthday. Today's my birthday. I know that surprises people because they celebrate on uh, August 1st. But this is the day I was baptized. So I was baptized and born into the church on the feast of St. Clair. So, uh, uh, and of course, St. Clair is a Franciscan, so we remember the POR that was serving the parish. As a matter of fact, if you go over by St. Joseph's altar, you will see an image of St. Clair uh, on the wall there. If you do remember the POR, it's our 100th anniversary. And a uh, patron saint of our uh, uh, Grace of Vocations, Religious Life, Patron Saint of Caesar, Patron Saint of Television Broadcasting. She was, of course, this was the 11th century, and she was now the Patron Saint of Television Broadcasting. So it gives you a little opportunity to think about that for the homily. So as we honor St. Clair today, let us begin with the Anthem Antiphon. And let me get that one second here. They're on the same song sheet. Here's a wise virgin. Here is a wise virgin among the number of prudent who went forth with lighted lamps to meet Christ. In the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the help of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sins of you. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to embrace our me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who in your mercy led St. Clair to a love of poverty, grant through her intercession that following Christ in poverty of spirit, we may merit to contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for the living Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel, the Lord God said to me, As for you, son of man, obey me when I speak, speak to you. Be not rebellious like this house of rebellion, but open your mouth and eat what I shall give you. It was then I saw a hand stretched out to me, in which was written a scroll which he unrolled before me. It was covered with writing front and back, and written on it was, lamentation and wail and woe. He said to me, Son of man, eat what uh, is before you. Eat the scroll, then go, speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he gave me the scroll to eat. Son of man, he then said to me, feed your belly and fill your stomach with this roll I am giving you. I ate it, and it was sweet as honey to my mouth. He said to me, Son of man, Go now to the house of Israel and speak my words to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How sweet to, the, to my taste is your promise. How sweet, How sweet to my, my taste, taste is your promise. In the way of your decrees I rejoice as much as in all riches. How, How sweet, sweet to my taste, taste is your promise. Yes, your decrees are my delight and they are my counsel. How oh, oh, sweet, sweet to my taste is your promise. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Oh, How oh, sweet, sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet do my palate are your promises sweeter than honey to my mouth. How oh, oh, sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my inheritance forever, the joy of my heart they are. How oh, sweet to my taste is your promise. I grasp with, my, uh, with open mouth 
in my yearning for your command. I will sing to my days in your promise. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in his midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this is in my name receives me. See that you do not uh, despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that there are angels in heaven always looking upon the face of, the he of my heavenly Father. What is your opinion? The man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray. Will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go to search for the stray? And if he finds it, amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than the nine over the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, it will it is it is not the will of my heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. The gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. As I said to you before, my, my mother, uh, when she was growing up in Jamestown, she was a shepherdess, and she'd always say to me whenever she'd hear these gospels that uh, sheep were being referred to, she'd always nod her head and say, I don't like being compared to sheep, because they really are dumb animals, you know, they're very passive and dumb. And of course, uh, she could relate, though, and I hope that's what uh, you hear in South Dakota with the ranchers and farmers, but could also relate to what Jesus was saying, you know. Uh, they are very passive, and when you do get one that is lost, you can trust, as she said, the shepherd, the shepherdess, you wouldn't want to be too far away from the sheep, though, because they all wander off, but, but, you know, you would go after that one, you're responsible for that one, and there is a lot of relief, especially when the one is nearby, and then you can return it to the fold, and there is a lot of rejoicing with that in, in, a, in a shepherdess's heart, because now she can go back and, and kind of just keep guiding the, the flock as, as needed. And this is what Jesus says to us as well. It's remind us we're here in the same way with God. God does, heaven does rejoice when one who is off you know, can be returned. So uh, today what we also are celebrating is the Feast of St. Clair. This is my baptismal date, and ironically, isn't it interesting how God works that on the Feast of St. Clair we have uh, Biden, uh, who's uh, running for president, chooses uh, Kamala Harris, uh, for her, his vice presidential nominee uh, to run for pre uh, for vice president, but now we have a complete ticket. And uh, what we need to do on this feast day is to pray for both of them. Why? Because both of them are of Catholic tradition, and not of Catholic awareness, but of Catholic tradition. They're part of our flock, our fold. And through the intercession of Saint Clair, let, let's pray that they they will become humble of heart, as we are hearing them. Days for truth to be passive, to wanting to receive and come to conversion to the way about their voting rights, which is just as horrible, horrible as anything but Catholic. So, then what we need to do is, is pray for those who are definitely a strange sheep and, and rejoice. And that's one thing we have to do pray for a conversion, pray for them turning around, turn with Jesus, coming back to the fold, and that they may uh, come to an awareness of. Of why the church teaches what it teaches, and not to be afraid to stand up for that that teaching in their voting records as well, especially now that they're running for president and vice president. And of course, with Saint Clair, uh, a Franciscan, a very wealthy woman, as a matter of fact, uh, very affluent, and she joined with Saint Francis and, and wanted to be a lead a simple life. And of course, um, we, we developed the Clares, the four Clares that we have as sisters. So. We want to pray through her intercession for those that are being called to religious life, especially the, the nuns uh, and, and sisters that have served our parish over the last hundred years to, to remember them.
them and to pray that those who are being called to the sisterhood put aside the noise of this world as St. Clair herself did and come and give their lives to, to God to be able to give to the world an example of what we live for, not for this kingdom, but for the kingdom of heaven, giving everything up for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. And of course, the other thing that is that most people are not aware of, now remembering, if I remember right, at the 1100s, uh, St. Clair uh, is now the patron saint of uh, broadcasting, of uh, television, uh, television broadcasting in particular. And of how much we need that, because if you look at the media today, boy, do we ever need a saint to be in, uh, in broadcasting in the media. But why? I mean, in the 11th century, there was no such thing as a television, right? Wrong. He would be wrong on that because it was a great miracle. At the end of her life, of course, we were remembering the RL, and so in the funeral we celebrated on Thursday. Uh, uh, St. Clair was in the same situation. She was uh, sick, very, very sick, and they had to keep her in her cell. And of course, she wasn't able to attend um, daily Mass. And of course, as a nun, she wanted to be there at Mass. And God provided a great miracle on her wall. There was given to her to be in the division of what was occurring down the church. So she was there watching mass. She was the very first uh, 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 TV mass uh, being broadcasted, given to her that special grace that she would be able to attend mass at least in her cell with that vision on her on her cell wall. And it is because of this vision, because of this great miracle that uh, we do get her the patroness of uh, broadcasting, TV broadcasting, especially when it comes to broadcasting to the, the Catholic uh, message and the Catholic media. And of course, after she would watch Mass on her uh, cell wall, she'd come and the communion would be brought to her. So how appropriate, especially as we're having the pandemic and having live stream here, that uh, we do, through the intercession of St. Clair, ask that uh, that uh, we too are able to bring into the 21st century that, that media, especially when it comes to the message of the Eucharist and the importance of the Mass. So with that, let us now stand together as the people of God as we join with those that are watching us by live stream and, and now join our prayers through the intercession of St. Clair to, to present to our Heavenly Father the needs of our world and with give him thanks for the blessings he has bestowed upon us. So Heavenly Father, we do turn to you now and, and present to you those individuals who are leading our world, those who have been given the responsibility of the common good, especially during this election year, those who are wanting to take on the responsibility. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit to enlighten them like Ezekiel, that they will swallow the scroll and be able to speak your words, to be able to uh, bring about the common good according to your will and serve it well. We pray to the Lord. And we do pray, Heavenly Father, for the lost sheep of the church. And we do remember uh, the president, uh, the Vice President Biden himself, who declare himself to be Catholic, and they have nearly a Harris as well, and of Catholic tradition, that they too come to an awareness of conversion, and that they will, in their voting records and their speeches, will stand up to the gospel of life and reject our culture of death. We pray to the Lord. Lord and now, Heavenly Father, we also pray for those that are in broadcasting through the intercession of St. Clair, that they too will recognize their, their need for humility and also to be able to comply to the common good, to, to uh, present the, the, the natural laws that have been given to us by you, that we are promoting those instead of our own will. So and unlike what we have in today's first reading where there is woe and desperation and desolation, that by the media that they can bring hope and truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, now, Heavenly Father, we also want at this time to give you thanks for all the blessings that you have bestowed upon us. Uh, I'm not quite sure where the rain is for the farmers right now, but we did have a very good rain yesterday. But all the blessings that we do uh, ask that you hear us in our thanksgivings, and yes, uh, the farmers and ranchers keep them safe as they literally do feed the world by the work of their hands. May they have a prosperous, a profitable, and successful harvest this year by your grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, we present to you those individuals who 
Lord go amongst us as yet through the intercession of St. Clair herself, who knew what an extended illness was, uh, was all about. We now ask you, Heavenly Father, to send your Holy Spirit on these individuals that they may have courage to endure the cross they are carrying at this time. And, and yes, we pray for their quick recovery that they may return to your altar and praise with us soon. We pray to the Lord. Uh, and as we are remembering the living and deceased uh, members of the Durkin family, we also we do remember uh, uh, RL and also uh, uh, the family that is going through this difficult time of loss. Heavenly Father, bring your consolations upon these families and, and also your grace. And, and also, we also pray for those who have died that they may share the promise of eternal life with you in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, now we turn to you with those petitions that are dearest to our own hearts and present them to you at this time. For all of these, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our God, our Father, it is with great privilege that we are here today at your altar of praise, your altar of worship, and now present you humbly our, our petitions to you, knowing that you can make perfect what is imperfect, and you rush to yet answer our prayers. Heavenly Father, now trusting in you, we present them to you, you our mediator, Jesus Christ, our eldest brother, our Lord, our master, who we know lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit as one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, that work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good law of the Holy Church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the blessing of the Virgin Blessed Clare, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you called human, human, as it called human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promised in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that love us worthy to be in your presence and mix with you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, led throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to go heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil gracious and grant peace in our days and by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the, for the kingdom, kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And again, if you will take up your word among us when you're living with Christ, let us say together the communion amphibon as we honor St. Clair today. Behold, the bridegroom is coming to come to meet Christ the Lord. And again, if you will, do remember to pray for the living deceased members of the uh, group in Benlis when we offer this Mass. And I'm sure it goes without saying, but also remember uh, RL as well in your prayers. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking in this divine gift, we pray, O oh Lord our God, that by the example of blessed Claire, bearing in our bodies the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, 